Okay guys, for today's video, we have a pretty solid performance against an Orgot, but there's something that I want you to focus on on that vid. At least like if you want to improve, of course, you can just enjoy the gameplay and see what happens. But if you want to take something from that video, it's going to be regarding the waves. Observe the wave state in early game and see what I do with my waves. So basically, when you're laning, the wave is either good or bad. Good, it means that if you're leaving your lane, it's by default winning for you. For example, it's crashed in or it's freezing. And bad, it means that if you're leaving the lane by default, you're losing golden experience. So you need to keep in mind always, always, always this question. Is my wave good or bad? If it's bad, how can I fix it? Can I fix it? How can I do that? If I can't, then I would do something else. I would just like completely sack it or ask for help. And if my wave is good, what do I do with it? Because a good wave means time. Because if your wave is good, enemy's wave is bad. So they need time to fix it. So what do you do with your time? So just observe early game, ask yourselves, what would I do with that wave? Do I think it's a good wave, bad wave? And see what I do with it. Because that's pretty much how I built my lead and was able to snowball the game. Hope you enjoy it. Much love. <laughs> Hey okay, guys, hope everyone is doing well. I realize that I'm popping up on main accounts. I'm uh, uh, reaching like a master's, I don't know how many LPs, like not that much yet because I haven't played much, but I'm at 56% win rate and I'm having really good performances. And like seven of my eight less, uh, losses were ace. You know, I mean, OPGG ace doesn't mean that I was the best player, but I think I was. Uh, so I realized I need to just like, even if I record content on the Smurf and... Uh, I start my sessions on it and I'm less focused. I still need to go back to try harding as hard as on the main accounts. I mean, close to it, you know, uh, because again, like whenever I'm talking, discussing something, I have way less focus. So let's do it. And I think it's going to help for me to just explain everything that goes through my mind once again. Uh, so because this guy is going TP, even if he has PTA and his Orgot, I think I will be happy with D-Blade. I've been doing a bit more of Demolish. Um, I realized that uh, a lot of the extra HP that um, Revitalis gave me were either not necessary HP or it's HP that I can also save by just playing better, you know. Um, and Demolish gives you a lot of time on the map. It's, it's pretty good. If you can afford to take it in some matchups, I wouldn't take it. So let's see, it's Ash Nautilus. So it's not the best synergy, but still, like, it's pretty oppressive. I mean, it's Nautilus into Thresh, so... Two melee hook champions uh, with an ADC that's not the strongest um, early on, but I I, I don't know I, I probably would rather be Ash Nautilus here, um, but I believe I believe uh, come late invade one twenty five okay I'm happy with that yeah I, doesn't trash like cancel Nautilus Q with this E I I don't know. I mean, we'll see. Basically, whenever you have like two melee hook champions uh, facing each other, if one bot lane gets the lead, they're gonna snowball pretty hard. Mid lane, they have the scaling, we have the snowball potential and the stomp potential, so we should play for mid lane if we can. And jungle. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that Urgot doesn't uh doesn't E graves and prevent him from killing Poppy. So I invested everything, which is fine because Urgot took his took his share. Okay, was able to get an extra auto. Really happy with that. Also I didn't XP to Urgot. Yeah, this is looking really good so far. Okay, I'm fine with an auto. I'm fine with another auto. And now he cannot stay. We're getting his TP. Nice, amazing. Uh, 
And we're going to use the time to base and buy something. What do I buy here? Uh, I could buy longsword refillable, but I think I don't need longsword refillable to keep being stronger. So I'd rather buy coal. Maybe another pot. I have the gold for it. Wait, Graves is still level 1? Did he try to gank Cassadin being level 1? I mean, maybe he did. And it worked. So that's pretty good because, as we said, like Miller needs to snowball. Otherwise, Cassadin is just gonna outscale. Uh, that's a really bad base. You're gonna get cancelled. But she doesn't have TP. Just, yeah, chill, don't get off my poppy, and we're gonna be happy. Okay, now the wave is on my side, but in order to have a bigger advantage and actually go for a really good trade, I need to thin the wave and get level 4. I have level 4 now. Easy peasy. Uh, Graves is going a bit crazy and Cassadin might be moving. It's a cannon wave, so I have a lot of time on my hands. So I will actually go and look to help. I am your worst nightmare. Double kill. Graves if you can. Botlane's winning. Okay, so far so good. If the wave was not a cannon wave, I would have less time, but I would still have time on my hands. Uh, yeah, the wave is not crashing yet, so I can afford to go and help. Okay, I'm going back top. He got the kill, but he's lo losing so, so much. I do believe that if I dash and take the movement speed buff, I would actually go faster. And now I'm back in perfect time. Yeah, I actually exactly used the time that I had on my hands to make the play. But now we have a really, really big XP lead. And actually, right now, even if uh, you could think that a good play it is like to get prior instantly for grubs, it's a good play. But right now I'm seeing a play that can get us more, because maybe I'm not needed for grubs. I mean, never mind. I was gonna say, if I slow push, I can get level... If I slow push, I can get level uh, 6 and go for the dive, but if he gives me a kill angle, I will take it. So now, I will get 6 from that wave. Grubs are still on the table. I'm running Demolish. I mean, I don't know where Poppy is. It's very tempting to go crazy and look to dive him, but I don't know where Poppy is. I'm a jungler spot, so this is not the time to give a shutdown. Up, up, up. Tier 2 boots because I need to come back faster to lane. Uh, and also, I don't need much AD because he doesn't have much armor, and now. Having tier 2 boots actually out uh, movement speed him, so I can run him down. Yeah, as expected, Poppy was on Krebs. And the wave is bouncing. And I'm there to hold it. Also because I have tier 2 boots. Okay, well, Argot is fucked here. He cannot really play unless he asks for help. So I'm going to look at map and see his help coming. Well, Poppy could be sitting top after grubs, but it would mean that she's just like wasting a lot of time. Um, I'm going to make sure that they deny the cannon XP. Cassadin is back mid lane. Is that... And I know that I can afford to do this without losing too much because I saw that my next wave was actually um, arriving. 
If his way was crushing under my turret, I wouldn't go for that for that, for that play. Okay, I will use my pots just to make sure that I'm not in danger crushing this wave because it's gonna come back soon. And if I can, I would really like to hit the demolish proc. If I can't, well, I'm not gonna risk everything for that. Yeah, that's not that's not take a big risk. We have a shutdown again, and it's a cannon wave, so I have time to waste. See so yeah, how it's all about the waves and the time that they give me. Up, up. I don't need straight in that game. They have Poppy, they have Urgot, they have Tabais. I need to have damage DPS for them. Okay. They got a shutdown on Cassadin, which is really bad. How big of a shutdown it is? Okay, it's 4 of 50. It's fine, it's fine. No. Psy doopsy. Okay, I see Poppy. She's going on her walls. Okay, they are coming back, which is uh, fine, I guess, for content. Yeah, he, he was trying to hold his ult and not press it again until I'm um, at the end of my ult myself, so I, I do not get out of his belly. Because there's an interaction where, well, if I'm ulting and he ults me, or just get out of his body. You <laughs> I think it's worth with with Pantheon E as well. So to avoid that, uh, I'm not okay. I guess you can. I should have maybe stayed in back to one half crack and Slayer. But I was kind of low in HP. So yeah, to avoid that, I need to go crazy and kill him fast so he cannot tempo my ult. And he's forced to either ult me too early or not ult me and die. Then it's gonna checkmate. My ID, uh, my base ID was just like to hold the wave actually. Something I can reach. I mean, it's good enough. Not a big fan because I lost plenty of XP, but I guess it takes him completely out. And Poppy has no reason to be top other than Grave than Grubs. Because well she has no top camps. Yeah, exactly. She's bot now. It just has to survive. Now I can do a play which is preventing <coughs> access to the lane. It's really good at Thresh's here, actually. Okay, well, we got his flash. Some ID here. Nice. Okay, I have plenty of gold and the wave is pushed in, so what I'm gonna do actually right now is buy Kraken and go straight into Drake. You can buy Rage Blade. So I'm actually gonna hover Drake and keep in mind that I also want to go top. Don't want to give free plates for... Yeah, I think Akali should have went top here. 
It's okay, I'm hovering and they don't seem to be defending it. So now I can go back top lane and actually have the time. Perfect. They have a pink, but I don't think I have. The time to defend it. I want to drop a ward here because Herald is going to spawn. Really good. So you see, it's all about the waves. And waves give you time. And how are you going to use this time, basically? In a nutshell, that's... That's how I, man like, I manage early game. Then in mid to late game, there's a bit of few different ideas, but I mean, still also the same concepts of waves. You're pushing waves to get time, to get tempo, and you're gonna need to use that tempo to make something happen. Oh shit, we hit the hook. Okay, the guy is dead. Same here, you see, I pushed the wave, so now I have time where Urgot is actually top lane. And I have time on the map. So I hover and start moving. Mm, maybe we can go for blue buff. Our minion moves are stronger because we're heads, you see here, bonus damage to minion, reduce damage from minions. We left click on them. So it's it's based on the average level of your team and the amount of structures that you took. And because of that, even ways are actually going to push to them. So that's something to keep in mind. Which can be good sometimes and can be bad. Depends on the situations. We're getting this turret with the... Oh, he messed up. It's not going to charge. If I ignore the fact... And take this. No, it faded! Okay, at least it's, it's on Nautilus. It faded at the worst time possible. I mean, I don't think it's your bad. It's on Nauti... It's fine. But, I mean, the biggest mistake was whoever, like, hit the wall with Harold. Uh, what do we want next? I can work on this. I mean, this does close to nothing. I guess the five first haste <coughs> are the, uh, is what matters the most. Because you get like one haste for 1% uh, CDR. And the more you have, the less value it has. Kelly bot, yeah. This guy has tab eyes into a Kali, he's gonna get melted. Uh, my idea right now is that something that can win us the game is Drake's. Drake's can win us the game. Uh, I kinda want to take this, but I see that Nautilus and Poppy are hovering. Okay. Forcing our smite is actually pretty good. So I'm gonna push next wave and then I come for Drake. Come for Drake. Because like if I if let's say I'm pushing top, yes, I can dive the Orgot. Let's say I dive the Orgot. I get T2, I get T3. But we don't get Drake, and as I said, like Drake is gonna win us the game. Diving Orgot is not. Uh... Okay. So I took top prio into mid prio. Okay. 
Oh, my team did the job. Good for them. Good for me. Now I make sure that we get this. And now I go bot. Because the next objective is going to be... Nash. And I still want to be to, uh, at the opposite side of the objective. Um, don't really want to use my fastback here. It doesn't do much. Like me buying coffee, it's not going to make the difference between killing or not killing someone. Can I 1v2? He's feeling confident because there's Poppy. There's no more Poppy now. I guess there is. She could be coming back. Okay, she's actually coming for me. Okay, I see Poppy now. Now she's spawning in 40 seconds. Don't really want to go crazy before that. I mean, I guess. Nope. I legit say, I don't want to go crazy before that. And then I just see that his E doesn't put me in a turret. And now my plan has completely changed. And I give... Okay, I guess I didn't have a shutdown anymore. At least... At least that... Oh, that's... That's really bad. He might get T1 for that. And I'm applying zero pressure now. And I don't have Ghost. Just listen to yourselves. Do... Yeah. Had a plan. It was very thoughtful. It was not... A random plan and I just didn't follow it. Now he gets a lot. It's okay though. Take it off and now we make new plans and we follow them this time. <clears throat> so what's my new plan? Also I could if I ghosted instant it would have worked. Okay, well, now my plan is kind of evolving on the spot because I'm seeing that we're hard engaging. And if we wipe them, it means Nash. And Nash means, well, very likely the game. Shit, I could have dodged that. Yeah, we can, we can, we should. No. I believe that we can, but we cannot anymore. We could because Poppy was really low, but now Poppy is actually basing. Ah. Guess we're really good at making good plays become bad plays. But I guess it's fine because these deaths don't do much. As long as we're there for Drake. I'm gonna use my ward on Nash. Because something enemy team can do on Drake is try to trade Drake for Nash. Now I'm looking to spike as hard as possible. Uh, I guess I'm okay to give tier 1 top. For Drake. Uh, for... Uh, yeah, for Drake. I'm taking this because I want Graves to be fast. Fast to Drake. And I don't want him to waste time on red buff. I guess they know. Can 
Okay, so now that I have my three items, I could look to front to back. I could look to dive. I will see how the fight evolves. Most likely I want to play with my team because we're still strong. So hit whoever they're hitting. Also, like just by standing here, I'm actually zoning Ash and Argot. Okay, we're chilling. Well, I guess all I did was... No, 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 no. Graze, graze. Bro. He's killing Nautilus when they're threatening to take Nash. Well, I guess he has to do wonders now. Went to kill Nautilus. And maybe he got hooked and he had to fight. Uh, yeah, but I, I took the fight from a terrible angle. I can actually not front to back into Poppy Argot. Okay, yeah, I didn't have E, he could have Ace, but he doesn't know. Uh, what am I building next? Probably an armor pen item. Into bark, something like this. I want to base now, but my team is on the map. It's not really the time to base. Okay, I kill him fast enough. Yeah, that's new hole breaker, it's so shit. Without hole breaker, <coughs> I never kill him here. I need some G's. Uh, there's Elder in three minutes. What are you doing? Okay, I guess we don't get punished for it. I need 446, but I can sell D-Blade. He could have went for me, actually. Still don't have the gold for it. But there's an objective on the map, so... Can stay for a bit. Okay, I see four of them. I have my ult now. I see that they're engaging, so I was gonna base, but... Now, what I'm seeing is that if they commit, I need to be able to punish. Cassadin is coming, I would actually just go for Demolish, most likely. Or the full turret. Okay, I'm taking this wave. Um, thresh spacing and basing. Oh, 
Okay. I could actually threaten to just end the game top this time. Because last time, what I would get from split pushing for the second rig, I think it was, I would get T23. T23 don't win game. This time, split pushing can get me Nash. Uh, Nexus. Nexus wins games. So. Oh, I should have bought a red trinket. I'm trolling. Maybe I'm on the ward. Okay. Well, I have both sums. Our god cannot hold me. It's 40 seconds. I could have W'd. I hinted. Well, he's hinting as well. So the reason I flash is to keep my ult. Okay. Ending the game, guys. I trolled, I should have hit him instant. I could have ended. I should have killed him under my ult when he ulted on me instant. I mean, still is open nexus. Ah, when he ults on me, I click on him, I kill him first, and then I end. But here, because I ulted for nothing, kind of. I mean, not for nothing, I was gonna die, but because I hit the, the turret, well, then he can kite me after. Don't have my ult, but I don't think they can contest. Anyway, not a big fan of that base. I think we can just to end here. Okay, that's really good. It's kinda out. So now they have to defend on me, so now it opens mid. Guess I actually didn't go in his fountain. I'm ending. <laughs> that was funny. I mean, we don't care about your Maw, you need to stay on the map. We have Elder Timer and he's talking about playing Maw. That is... Yeah, exactly. They have no Ash ult, no... Not his ult, I'm not sure. No Urgot ult, GG. Nice game. Okay, I think I would post it if I did. Well, thank you for watching it, guys. Uh, if you like the content, feel free to drop a like, a comment, or a subscription if you haven't already. Next video is going to be tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, take care of yourselves, guys. Go to kind of fun in-game and in real life. I need to fix my... Yeah, it's fixed. Uh, and I will see you next time. Much love, guys. Peace. Bye-bye.